tornado sucked a girl right out of her car. She was inside a tornado. Despite having her seatbelt on, the tornado sucked her right through the sunroof. Second by second. When I heard that, that noise. How it feels to be sucked right up in the sky. Then, baby boom in Hollywood, and the first one arrives. A baby boy, and they named him Moses. And he's the little boy who called 911, and instead of getting help, he got reprimanded. I don't care. You shouldn't be playing on the phone. For the first time since his mother died, the furious family speaks out. A final farewell for beloved Dana Reeve. A sea of famous faces come here to remember her. Barbara Walters, Matthew Broderick, and Dana Reeve's son. Then, he became a worldwide joke for this. Now, payback time. Revenge of the Star Wars Kid. And why Melanie Griffith is being sued over the dress she wore to the Golden Globes. Now, Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us. It was a tornado ride that makes Dorothy's trip to Oz look like a walk in the park. A young woman who, when driving in her SUV, was swept up by a tornado and literally sucked out of her car through the sunroof. As Diane McInerney reports, the woman says the fact that she's even alive to tell the story is nothing short of a miracle. I guess I kind of got a second chance at life. <laughs> 25-year-old Megan Mahoney can laugh about it now, but her incredible encounter with a killer tornado has many proclaiming her survival a miracle. Oh my gosh, I was really in the air in a tornado at some point. Megan was driving through Indiana a week ago on her way to visit some friends. A deadly weather pattern was clobbering the Midwest, spawning numerous tornadoes. Megan didn't see it coming, but she suddenly heard an awful noise. It came out of nowhere, and when, when I heard that, that noise, I didn't even know what it was. Instantly, this Missouri resident's Jeep Grand Cherokee began to tumble end over end, and she thought her life was over. This is how the car looked when it finally came to a stop, but Megan wasn't in it. Megan says she was spinning around inside her vehicle for what seemed like forever, and despite having her seatbelt on, the tornado sucked her right through the sunroof and tossed her about 300 yards away into that field. So you were driving over here, your car landed here. Mm -hmm. Where did you land? Um, somewhere over there. <laughs> a good Samaritan saw Megan walking in a daze by the side of the road. He took her home and called 911. Somebody called earlier about the dispatch the ambulance to my residence because the stranded motorist was hit by a tornado. Okay. Well, well, they they this, the ambulance is stuck in traffic. Yeah, we dispatched them and they're on the way. Well, I can go ahead and bring her in. Braving roads strewn with debris, Megan's rescuer ended up driving her to the hospital himself. Megan suffered a concussion and some nasty bruises and in another sign of her incredible good fortune. Got some stitches here um, which is weird because they said if it would have been over any further it could have hit a major vein and I could have bled to death. Inside Edition <laughs> tracked down the man who saved Megan. How are you? It's so good to see, good you. To see you. After a happy know, reunion Dan Engel oh. told us he can still hardly believe Megan survived. The car, it was going end over end, not rolling. Right, it was going front to back to front, front to front back. To back. Oh, wow. So what a ride. As for Megan, she's determined not to take her miraculous survival for granted. I know it sounds kind of corny, but I feel like obviously my life was spared for some reason, and hopefully I can live up to that potential. <laughs> Megan says surviving the tornado definitely has changed her. She's planning to do more charity work, and she says one day she'd like to write a book about miracles. Time to buy another baby present. Gwyneth Paltrow is now...